Hello Aries, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So if you'd like to follow me somewhere on social media, links are down below. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I will get cracking. I promise I will be entertaining. And uh, I'm ready to do your reading. So let's, let's go. I'm today using the Vice Versa Tarot. So I'm going to show you what the Vice Versa Tarot looks like by pulling the center card on your reading here. So these cards are double-sided. And if I remember, I'll put the link in the description below. <laughs> but the Vice Versa Tarot has the regular tarot deck, and then there's a front and back side. And they have different images. They serve different meanings. I'm going to use this intuitively today. I've not studied the book. I prefer to use my intuition. I do a great job channeling that way. So that's how I'm going to do this. Okay. Anyway, you've got this side as your situation right now. Doesn't look bad, does it? There's a cup of love there. There's uh, someone from the past coming in to looks like rescue, maybe join you, help you out. Um, it's And you seem to be receiving it well. So we'll see how this goes. All right. So let's look at the past here. In the past, we have a very intuitive person, I assume is probably the both of you, because it's sitting in the corner, but mainly the feminine, which is probably you who's watching the reading right now, and mostly females. But I do know some uh, well-versed in spirit males that are lovely and awakened and watching this video right now. <laughs> so, this intuitive person had some conflict with somebody who appears to be a very childish type energy. This person might have been super immature, especially for their age. Um, I also feel they have childhood wounds, and I also feel they're a very, very empathic and sensitive person. Um, this is an energy that I'm going to say because based on the red of the outfit that he's wearing and what I see happening here in the background, there's almost an, there's a lot of passion here and maybe it's wrong for me to say, but I think you'll dig it. That obelisk is making me think of big D energy, but the fact that it's coming over this child makes me feel like this person's playing two worlds. On one hand, they are feeling very confident with themselves and probably out there being a player. And at the same time, who they really are, which is who you, wonderful, amazing, awesome, intuitive person, who you saw was that innocent childlike person who's very sweet and romantic and needs to be nurtured and you wanted to be there to love them. Now what happened? So I'm going to go down uh, your side first. The current situation is you're still sitting in your intuition, but you are ready to fight. And you're ready to fight against somebody who doesn't feel like... How do I describe this? It doesn't feel like they're coming authentically. This is a dark energy that you feel like you're fighting. So you were done wrong by this person. This is not something you're like, oh, here's a conflict in business, or I might have to have a discussion with this person, but it'll turn out fine. This is a, I am fighting for my life <laughs> and I'm doing it triumphantly. I plan on winning. I'm going to win because I'm not going to go through this again. So winning for them doesn't mean against you. Sorry, I get mixed up when I'm channeling and looking at people <laughs> in my head. You fighting or winning against them isn't for them to think like, oh my God, they're trying to win, freaking Aries has to be in control, blah, blah, blah. No, the version of you that they're going to see is the well-boundaried integrity version that is fighting to keep this personal space that you have built up. You've been wounded and you've come back out and learned some lessons and you are charging forward. You have a plan. You have somewhere you want to go. You have business to take care of. You have things to do. You have choices and love and you're on that chariot and you're going. So if they want to play catch up, 
they're going to have to do better than fighting with you because you're, you're not about that. You're about peace and following your intuition. And, um, let me see what you want looking forward. Yeah. You're looking for a love offer from a real person who's willing to share their feelings. That's what you're looking for. Someone who knows how to express, even if this is work partners, you still want somebody who's able to, um, describe how they're feeling, what they're going through, um, ex express their problems. You don't want people that are passive aggressive and do crazy things, right? So the both of you want this situation to come out. Here you are sitting in the water, having a good old time. And this person is talking to you, but what happened to their feelings? Because this looks like so much crap. Honestly, it's like they have a hidden love for you that they haven't shared with you yet. Because there's this, this growing rose, this color, this thing happening behind his back. And he's looking forward, but he hasn't shared that flower with anyone yet. So I feel like this person stayed in a family situation. And they felt like they worked a really long time and really hard to make this happen. So they're probably going to stay. So for some of you, I'm going to do something different with this because this is going to go two ways for different groups of Aries people. So I'm going to separate you guys, okay? I'm getting guided to clear it up for you because I don't want you to be confused or get discouraged. No matter what, you're winning this, the family situation. The person who is grieving the loss of you is also wanting this family situation. This is something that they are holding on to because they built it up. They might have had a child with them. They might have gotten someone pregnant since they left you and then they have to express that. So, okay, for Aries singles, give me something for that. The ones who let somebody go. What's the outcome of this person coming back around? If, oh, something just popped out. Oh, I got a whole story. Is this too much? This is too much. I'm going to put it back. <clears throat> there we go. Ay, so much heartache. Yeah, this looks like somebody who's choosing to stay in the situation that they built. Okay, this is for people who saw that their person didn't do work, didn't make a move, didn't speak up, didn't come get them, you'll know definitely by June whether or not they're going to do anything about this, okay? For the people whose person is coming, what's the deciding factor with this child and the people who are coming in? What are they going to do? This one. I... Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. This is really funny. They're having a hard time speaking up. They don't know what they're going to say to you. And here you are all cute and sweet and amazing and angelic and just so patient and loving and awesome. And you're like, what's that you say? <laughs> what do you have to say there? Um, the person that's coming might be a Pisces or a water sign because of the page of cups. Um, but they're having a really hard time spitting it out. So I don't want you to hold your breath for somebody who's not spitting it out. What happens to the person, Aries? What happens to my Aries who this person doesn't show up and speak up? Because you can be open 24 seven and this person is still gonna struggle. You don't want to drag words out of somebody. You want to be with somebody who's open and honest and willing to share their feelings. So if they're not doing that, please don't bother going there because you need that. You absolutely need that or you will live a miserable life, I promise you. There's no, there's no comfort, safety, security, or amount of money that's gonna make you happy to make up for what you're missing in the connection, okay? All right, what was my question I asked? <laughs> what? Ah, oh, all right. So this person has to put down the burdens. The one who's coming through and actually speaking their feelings and, and trying to come together with you, they're, they need to put down 
the burdens of this situation. If that's not their person and they need to let it go, that's what they need to do. Some people are working too much and not getting in emo an emotional return. So they're working, working, working. They're doing it to keep this happy family situation going and they're not fulfilled. They're not fulfilled. So what's the point of working if you're with the wrong person, not emotionally happy? Like, yes, enjoy your kids, your child. But um, life doesn't have to stop there, you know? Okay, so that's what's going to happen. So that's what you need to look for. Um, you need to look for the person who's going to speak up. This is not one of those situations where they're going to be like, hey, how are you? Just wanted to check on you and say hi. And then you rush in and you're like, what's up? I missed you so much. Oh my God, are you free? What's going on? Are we going to be together? Are you ready to do something? And then you go through your whole grieving process all over again and again and again and again. Right? Right now, I heard you get pissed as I said that <laughs> because you're not doing this again. You're not. You're not going to do this again. They're, they're going to be a different person who speaks up and tells you exactly what they plan on doing and exactly how this is going to go and how they're going to take charge and not be this weak lion who can't speak up. That's not going to cut it for you. You're a very direct person. You're very understanding, caring, and giving. If you weren't, this person wouldn't have seen you as this gentle energy that they wanted to come talk to. You allowed them to shine their inner child and to begin to heal. But you don't have to be there at the end, especially if they haven't healed and made a decent offer to you. All right, so I'm going to leave that aside. And I'm going to grab you a super attractor card by, who is this? Gabrielle Bernstein, okay? And if I remember, I'll also put that link in the list. <laughs> yeah, so you can buy them in the links below and check out all the decks that I'm showing you guys but let's pull a super attractor card I'm gonna pull one for you and then one for the person on the other side okay and we'll see what kind of advice we have for you or what it is that makes it feel good oh wow I'm tripping because I pulled this deck out like I don't I think maybe this is the second time I've ever used it right so I pulled it out and I shuffled and I pulled one card out just to see how I would feel using the deck because I, I felt like I was being guided to use it. And this is the exact card I pulled out of the deck. And here it is again. Whew. You know why? Because I needed that too. I'm in Aries. <laughs> I needed the same message. I needed to like really pay attention. In stillness, I receive. You don't need the drama from the past. You don't want to take on baggage that you don't have to take on that hasn't been cleared up for you. You can take on somebody's past so long as they've healed and they've taken care of drama and put people behind boundaries. You can't be with somebody who doesn't have the same boundaries and integrity and strength level that you do. You'll just end up being, you know, the nurturing mother and the boss and the person who takes care of everything all over again. And you're tired. It's hard enough for you to do your own thing, which is why you're sitting in quiet and stillness. So there you have all the answers, you know, what's, um, what's working for you and what makes you feel good. So don't, don't wait for them and don't pray for them back, but receive what's coming to you for the good karma that you have put out. Okay. So, um, for some of you, if you've already had a run with a twin, like you were together for a while and then you let it go. I don't see this person coming back. Well, I do see them coming back, but their their ability to capture you is is a no. For the other ones <laughs> that, you know, you kind of started and didn't finish and they're coming back around now, you do have an opportunity, but they need to speak up. Understand? And this is not for you to to ask leading questions or make them tell you how they feel or you to be like, okay, do you want to tell me? No, they tell you or nothing. You got the info or you didn't. They're participating or they're not. You're not here to beg. Okay. All right. So one for the other person. And as with all readings that are especially general readings, this could be flip flopped vice versa. I never get it reversed when I'm doing personal readings. It's always very specific. So um, if you're unclear, 
by all means, please get a personal reading if you don't know who you are in this scenario. Okay, so for them, directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. See, this person needs to make a decision about where they're going to put their passion and what's important to them. And if it's not you, they need to leave you the hell alone. Okay? All right, I'm going to leave that there. That's what I got for you. If you like a personal reading, the link's down below, and you can check me out on ComfySoul.com. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.